the Future Blockchain Summit at Dubai Harbor. I'm Ronella Hernandez, and I'm sitting here with Jacob, who is the co-founder of Bitfold. How are you? Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. I'm very good. How are you liking the conference so far? What do you think about it? I think it's absolutely awesome. Uh, so many brilliant minds and so many incredible exhibitors. So I truly recommend anyone hesitating. Next year, you have to come over. So now tell me a little bit more about Bitfold and what you're working on. What do you have in your hand there? <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much. Uh, so we're building a next generation hardware wallet that in our intention is about to revolutionize this place, uh, this, this, this whole landscape. So I would say today everyone will have to decide, OK, when am I going to use something super secure or something easy to use? And this is like the holy grail of all the wallets. You don't want it have to choose. Exactly. Right? You have to compromise. Yeah. And the, this is exactly what we are trying to solve. So we want to make sure that this is extremely easy to use, but at the same time, it's super secure device that you really can rely on. So how does this cold storage wallet compare to others out there? You have Ledger, you have Trezor. OneInst just announced their new hardware wallet. So how are you competing against them? Sure. It's a great question. So. Basically, we've been able to actually put three devices in one device. So one that is connected to the internet, the other one that is like a, a middle uh, middle guy, like a, like a monkey inside that's either connected to the first first computer or the last one, and the last one where the private keys are. So because of this middle processor, the the, the part that is hot wallet is never ever connected directly to the part where the private keys are. Why is that a good thing? Sorry? Why is that a good thing? Because you don't want anything uh, that is uh, external communication to be accessible to your third part where the keys are, right? Because everything that is connected to the internet can actually at some point be hacked, right? Right, right, right. So we've been able to put uh, what we call the hardware air gap in between those modules. So you've got both ease of use because you can use it as a standalone device combined with the highest security because the keys are always fully air gapped at the whole time. And no other cold storage wallet has that feature? None of those that I'm aware of. Mm. And right. this is something that we've been able to patent in both US and EU and we are in patent pending stage in 17 other countries. So this is uh, <laughs> the MVP of what we're building and uh, you can do the transaction directly from it. Okay, and why was it so important to you to build this product and to focus on cold storage? Well, I've been in this space for around five years um, and I also have to have to struggle a little with with the hardware wallets uh, that I'm using because anyone, you know, conscious about, about the security of their assets, they have to use hardware wallets at some point. So I was no exception to it, uh, but at the same time I was thinking, okay, we should do it differently. It is possible to do it differently. So this is how my friend uh, Camille actually came up with the idea. And here we are, a couple of years later, uh, sitting here with, uh, with a working MVP. All right, and since we are at the Future Blockchain Summit, I do have to ask, how do you envision the future of blockchain looking like? What would you like it to look like? Uh, I would love it to be uh, more accessible, but not, not necessarily uh, understood and, and I would say branded as a, as a blockchain, but uh, mm -hmm. rather for it to be an infrastructure layer for different kind of things. because. For example, with the emergence of AI, you will have to make sure that what you see or what you're consuming is actually true. So this true layer can actually run on the blockchain. And this is how I envision the future. So the blockchain will be like a, a truth layer, and then you will be able to tell what is actually happening from what is a fake news, what is uh, something that, uh, that, that's that been uh, maliciously. Yeah, yeah, maliciously. No, that's a big growing problem right now, exactly. you're right. All right, so a layer of truth, love it. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much, thank you for having me.